Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to my weekly update. It's been a really full-on week. I don't think I remember many weeks when I've orbited the country quite so much. So yesterday I was in Cambridgeshire at the county meeting, finishing up uh, last night at Huntingdon uh, annual county meeting and landed down here in, in Devon today and, and a lot of members in all of those meetings. Um, a lot of conversations about the crisis that is currently playing out in the egg industry at the moment and we have been very very clear with government as to what we think needs to happen we've asked for an investigation into uh, the egg supply chain there are clearly some packers who are doing great things and some where it quite simply isn't working retailers again some are doing good things and some aren't so this is about fair pay for farmers I've had a lot of farmers both here and in many other parts of the country commenting on the huge challenges that they are facing right now. And it's not about AI. That is a massive issue, but this is a totally separate issue driven by these hugely uh, rising costs of, of production. If we look at it, and I've said it time and time again, we're now looking at over 30% inflation into agricultural input. So it's quite simple. If producers aren't going to get a fair return from the market, they're going to contract their business. They simply won't be able to stay in business. And I'm very conscious the Telegraph picked it up, but the advice now on imported eggs is young people, elderly people, people who are pregnant, not to eat runny eggs from other countries. And my goodness, this industry has been a huge success story. And everybody that I've mentioned, government, retailers, packers, everybody will need to act and raise their game if we are gonna retain the sector at the same size that it is. So we've called for that meeting, that investigation with government uh, and that meeting to happen. I'm reliably informed it should be at the end of next week and I'll fill you in afterwards as, as to what has been discussed. Um, in other news, you'll be aware that the uh, Slurry Grant Investment Scheme is out. Uh, do please have a look at that. It's much needed and, and long overdue. Um, I know there's concerns for pig farmers. I'm reliably informed that that is coming. So to don't be too concerned right now. Um, it's focused primarily on dairy, but for pigs, that is coming. Um, in other news, um, on Labour, very quickly, Tom Bradshaw has written to uh, the Immigration Minister, Robert Jenrick. Robert Jenrick, of course, you know, very much grower-based. So I really hope that that will lead to a constructive meeting and ultimately find a way through on the seasonal workers scheme so that we get to 60,000. I know you as growers desperately want to know uh, what the future scheme is going to look like. So anyway, I need to get back in with members here. Uh, please, wherever you are, look after yourselves in these uh, very extraordinary times for some huge challenges out there for some people. Many thanks and look forward to speaking to you again next week.